It's already happening, but it's not too late. We still have an opportunity. I think we're, we're at this juncture between where we can have effective interventions or we can go into a full-blown crisis. I'm Dr. Ed Septimus on the faculty at Texas A&M College of Medicine and Harvard Medical School. Well, globally, almost every country in the world is experiencing a significant increase in antibiotic resistance, going up anywhere from five to 50% over the last five to 10 years. The impact is we would have more and more people dying in hospitals with untreatable infections. And to me, that's a pretty scary thought. We became uncomfortable with the number of infections that we were seeing at the Kootenai Boundary Region Hospital, so we stopped the program. We did many things to improve their outcomes, but we did not decrease our infection rate to zero until we introduced nasal deep colonization. Since we've started this technique, we've had no infections in the past year and a half. It's quick, it's easy, it's painless. The results are outstanding. Based on the scientific literature, Ondine's technology that is using photodynamic therapy, it's shown to be effective, it's safe, and more importantly, studies have shown that in fact it does reduce infection rates by 50 to 80 percent. A number of years ago, the team at Ondine Biomedical developed and launched the world's first photo disinfection system for the nose. Stereowave kills nasal bacteria, viruses, and fungi in minutes. Stereowave has been used in Vancouver hospitals for 10 years. We've helped over 60,000 people. The nose is just one of those places that has a lot of germs in it. And we touch our nose actually more than 100 times a day. You can actually give yourself an infection that was totally preventable. This safe and painless five minute treatment involves a gentle swabbing of blue gel inside the nose, followed by activating red light on the nasal surfaces. This triggers a reaction that safely kills the pathogens. Because the reaction is so fast, the microbes are unable to develop any resistance to this treatment, and so it does not contribute to the ongoing problem of drug resistance. Once we started using photodynamic therapy, we decreased our infection rate to zero. Well, the patients have been super excited about this. They think it's fantastic. The nurses themselves have been extremely accommodating. They've been very excited about it. It's because we're doing something new, something innovative. We're improving outcomes. This program is working well and the infection rates have dropped precipitously. I think this technology is even more important today than it was, let's say, 10 years ago. And the reason for that is the ointment that we've been using in the nose is beginning to develop resistance. And if it develops resistance, it doesn't work. Now we have a technology where we don't have to worry about resistance and it's only one application. And it was really exciting to see the fact that we could see a patient who tested positive for either staff, staff or MRSA. And 10 minutes after when we completed the treatment that they would be negative. I'm pretty proud of what the hospital has enabled us to do. People are now coming here saying, would you mind doing my joint because I hear your infection rate is extremely low. So that's very gratifying. That makes me feel good.